The film and television industry is a vibrant and growing industry, ladies and gentlemen, creating jobs and attracting international attention. A woman at the helm of ensuring that this industry thrives is Sis Zamam Kos, who is the CEO of the National Film and Video Foundation. My boy, my man, my brother, Timothy Maurice Webster, was invited behind the scenes, lights, camera, and action. We're here to kick down the doors of Zama Nkosi. She is the CEO of the National Film and Video Foundation. We're about to go inside of her C-suite. She's making waves, transforming the film industry. I can't wait to have the chat. Let's do it. You must have like the coolest job in the world, being the CEO of a film industry. And as a film buff myself, I know that like this is an exciting industry to work in. It is amazing. I really have one of the best jobs in the world and I think more importantly because I thoroughly enjoy my job and I'm passionate about it. So I think that is really one of the luckiest things anyone really wishes for, to be able to do something on a daily basis that sure. they feel strongly about. You know, being a CEO of an industry that matters so much to the country yes. and sort of seeing yes. the masses represented, yes. it can't be easy. It's, it's not easy because you are not actually more the creative yourself, but you are managing the creative people. Uh, you are bringing out their creativity. You make sure that the business side of their creativity is taken care of. Sure. And you are leading people as well yes. in the process. So it's not easy. It's a combination of different expertise. What yes. seems to be more important in your background? Is the executive side or sort of the creative side of who you are? It is a balancing act at all times. My background is actually in law. I'm a, I'm a lawyer by training, but a lawyer that really was very clear that I don't want to be constrained by that, but I'm more of a creative than just a pure lawyer. So it's always a combination of the legal, the business, as well as the, the creative side. Do you mm -hmm. feel pressure as the CEO of an organization to make the country proud? Oh yes, I think uh, because that's what we are about in this organization. Uh, you know, NAVF really wants to make sure that we position the South African film industry. And in positioning the South African film industry, we are positioning the nation. Opposing, positioning the nation to the nation, but as well mm. as to the rest of the world. And we need to inspire the filmmakers themselves to bring out the best in them because the world really is going to see South Africa through the eyes of the films that we produce and we take to the rest of the world. As NFVF, we are really chasing uh, transforming the industry to think more business. We are chasing the industry to, uh, to be able to realize its potential as an economic contributor to this nation because socio-economic development is something that I feel personally very passionate about and I have great faith that the film industry is that great contributor to reshape the nation not only socially but economically as well. You guys may not have the largest budget mm -hmm. but you have an extraordinary potential in terms of you have a large level of influence yes, yes, yes. Um, on the film industry in terms mm -hmm. of global distribution you know, how are you able to use that influence mm -hmm. to sort of mm -hmm. change the industry? Mm. Well, I think that's very important, you know, what you mentioned. and something that as a leader you need to be very much aware of as what is the unique value proposition of the organization that we are leading. And, and our unique value proposition as NAVF is really in the developmental space. We are very clear that we are the only entity that plays in the space of development where commercial funders, for instance, don't go to. That is the first strength. Another strength is even in policy development. Um, we are able to, to contribute into policy development that will make sure that things that not only we can do, but other bigger players with bigger pockets, you know, can do. We need to influence policy that broadcasters need to comply with. So that is the way that we're able as an organization to create the ripple to make sure that the industry um, benefits in a, in a broader scale. There are many levels of the film industry. Yeah. There's the behind the scenes, there's the, the admin, the production, there's the front of the screen, the actors. You know, mm. what, what side do you think is, 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 is the biggest challenge mm. in terms of transforming? Well, I think the, the, the biggest um, area that is a challenge is still in the area of 
the, the marketing and distribution because there's a lot of talent out there. There's a lot of filmmakers that are producing a lot of good stuff, but it is not reaching the audiences. So what can we do to open up markets for South African content? Great content is being produced, but the markets are not sufficiently opened. And that really is one of the things that keeps me awake at night as to how can we unlock the potential of South African content, both within increasing the local market. I mean, we have a share of only, you know, 10%, you know, in cinema of South African movies. Oh, and, wow. and that really is, is, is a big challenge. And it shouldn't be in a country of over 50 million people. So what do we need to do to unlock um, the potential of our lo local market? Three things that you could say to a young woman mm -hmm. who wants to be CEO and have command of her industry. Yeah, well, I'll say first you need to work hard. It sounds very cliche and obvious, but that is just what it is. It's gonna take hard work. Secondly, it's gonna take self-awareness. You need to know yourself. You need to know what you're capable of where, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and you need to be humble enough to, to know who you need to bring around you to assist you and lift you up and support you in those areas that, um, that, that you know that you are, weak, you are weak at. And lastly, it's gonna take passion because it's not going to be easy. It's not gonna be fun every day, but you know what? You've got to be passionate and enough to stick with the long-term vision that you have for yourself. Wow. Well, thank you for letting us kick down your doors and come inside thank of your you. cinema. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on Insider C-Suite.